Today I would like to talk to you about serving with power. There's a lot of information out there on how you can improve your power, but it can be very confusing, so I would like to shed some light on the topic. There are a lot of sources for power, and if you watch different videos, they're going to tell you to use your legs more, they're going to tell you to stretch your hip, they're going to tell you to turn your shoulders, they're going to tell you to pronate, they're going to tell you to use your wrist, and all of those things will help generate power. But the bottom line is that the ball will only go as fast as your racket head is going at contact. So if you want to hit the ball faster, you have to generate more racket head speed. And in order to do so efficiently, you have to coordinate all the different power sources smoothly to generate maximum racket head speed. A lot of times, players that want to generate more power start emphasizing the different aspects, but they don't get very good results because the whole chain is not really working. The easiest way to improve your speed on your serve and actually your whole serve is learning to throw better. The serve is nothing more than throwing the racket at the ball. Exactly the same system that works on serving works for throwing overhand. So, if you want to throw the ball really far and high, you would get exactly in the same position that you would when you're serving. Your shoulders are tilted, you're using your legs, your arm is in this L position, you're letting your body turn and push at the same time. So it's an exactly the same system used to serve and to throw. If you have a hard time serving, I bet that if you try to throw, you're gonna have a hard time. Usually good throwers are good servers. Bad throwers usually can't serve. So, if you want to improve your serve, work on improving your throwing. Go back to basics. Make sure that you're sideways. Make sure that you're using your non-dominant hand to point. Get, it, get into this position with the ball. Use your legs and push and throw at the same time. As your throwing gets better, you're going to notice that your serving gets better. Once you're able to throw comfortably, you're going to notice that you're going to serve a lot better and then maybe you can start working on the specific things that may help you serve with a little bit more power. But unless you have a nice fluid throw in motion, everything else will probably not work too well for you. So get out on the court and start working on your throwing motion